I tell you what, Kel, I'm often guilty of using the phrase old mate, old mate this yes, and old mate yep. that. I suppose I've got a crime, I've committed a crime here in Victoria. What other phrases can't we use anymore? Well, the verbal fascists would, would want you to stop using a whole lot of phrases because what they ignore is the fact that the Australian language inherently at its centre is an informal language and we use language in a... In a, in a jokey sort of way. It's what we do. They don't understand that. Uh, so these particular councils in Victoria want us to stop saying things like old dear uh, or, or silly old bugger. Mind you, when Hawkey said it, he was actually annoyed by that pensioner. So it was a bit negative. But uh, if one old bloke meets another old bloke at the bowling club and says, g'day, how are you going, you silly old bugger? It's friendly. I mean, it, context is everything. Uh, these, these councils actually want to are claiming as a war against ageism they want to stop us using normal, informal, relaxed, friendly, affectionate Australian language. Old dear is not a put down, it is not ageist and these council are just they're either stupid or they're lying when they say it is. I, I was uh, old dear is the sort of thing that ladies say to each other as of a certain age. It's perfectly normal. And in fact, I was at a department store and a, an elderly customer was walking away, and I heard one shop assistant say to the other, "Oh, she's a sharp old dear." So it's not even patronising. It's not a put down at all. And to think that we'll tackle ageism by tackling this sort of friendly, affectionate language. I'm sorry, Peter. That is absolutely nuts. Oh, well, I use the other one too, silly old duffer, <laughs> to yes, myself which is more, great. more times than anybody else. <laughs> All can right, I, Kel, I mention... thank you for that, as always. Yes, please. I was just going to very quickly say the one expression in Australia that you've got to be careful with is old bastard. Uh, because if the bloke next door says his boss is an old bastard, he means it badly. But if he sees you at the pub and says, G'day, you old bastard, he means it well. Context is everything. Uh, a text without context a context is, is a pretext. That's what they're doing. I learn everything. I learn something every time. Thank you, Kel.